Okay, did you guys give any thought to what you want to do with your uh, titles and whatnot and your followers? Uh, Matt sent me a rather detailed list of his plans, which uh, is good. Uh, anyone else have any ideas? I just wanted to bounce some ideas before we get going and we can think about it as we go. That way when it comes up, I know what I'm talking about. Ceremony, you mean? No, for your recruiting of followers. You guys had a couple oh, yeah. of different plans and whatnot. I just wanted to know if anyone had given it any thought since last week. Um, I mean, my idea hadn't really changed. I did say what I wanted to do in-game. I don't think I typed it, but I did say it. Yeah, if you can just type out your plan. I think uh, you had a rather detailed plan, too. So just type out what you want to do and just email it to me so I know what it is. Um, I will be giving you I'll guys... I'll PM it to you in Discord because I can't remember your email. I'll just PM it to you in Discord. That's fine, too. Uh, I just want to have a detailed record of what your plan is so that I can apply modifiers for your followers and whatnot. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, I'll work on it while I'm not in action, right? No worries. So. It's not, not urgent or anything. I just want to well, yeah, I know, know I where mean, we're going. There'll be time during the session while I'm not necessarily doing anything if like we're focusing on another character i can do it then and i wanted uh, to bring it up at the beginning so it's on everyone's mind so when we do have a lull we can do that yeah exactly okay it's... all right yeah sorry no i'm good everyone good to go then i believe it is initiative um and we had my dragon going on the same initiative as me uh, right. So I'm going to roll for myself and my dragon. Okay, mute when you're not. Is it possible actually... to highlight multiple tokens at once? It is. Yep, okay, just cool. zoom over them. I don't know if this will work, but. But when you're yeah. babbling to yourself, mute yourself. Fuck my oh, I'm way back here. Didn't work, okay. I forgot this is my uh, stained back cleric. It rolled for my dragon instead of uh, my mark. Oh, I totally forgot to ask you, what's the cooldown on a Hellhound Breath? Uh, it should be in the description. I think it's D4 rounds. It might be D6. I Under Breath weapon, it just says 15 foot cone. Damage increase. Yeah, it doesn't uh, say the cooldown. I'll just Google it. Google it. What's the uh, initiative change for a breath weapon or other supernatural ability anything that is your physical body is based on your size so anything your dragon does is just a flat minus four if he picks up a great sword then he's minus four and minus ten okay uh is that so if he's using his natural weapons it's just minus four because it's zero yeah plus minus four. anything that he does his size modifier is minus four It doesn't say that there's a cooldown on it. And um, we had, had a time to identify everything from last time, right? Didn't I forget. Yes, so yeah, so we should have. That should be two points higher. Okay. Nate, mute yourself while you're babbling. I was. That was actually meant to be public. I'm saying his initiative didn't include his deck, so it should be two points higher. Oh, okay. I, you just you were talking over. Uh... Over Damon, so I thought you were just babbling in the background. Yeah, sometimes sometimes I have a bad habit of accidentally starting talking the instant someone else starts talking. The term you're looking for is rude. Well, if it happens at the same time, it's not intentional. It's just unlucky. Yeah, I know. I'm just making funny. Um, I can't tell. I'm just looking under breath weapon. It doesn't say if it has a specific... Uh, breath size. weapons are usually a D4. Yeah. Yeah, Round everything else five. is a D4. Um, if it doesn't say, I'm going to go with the D4. So a... if it doesn't say at all, it can do it as often as it wants. Well, but in if... the, the Hellhound, the regular Hellhound says 2D4 in the, in the SRD. Once every 2D4 yeah. rounds, 2D6 fire. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah it's right there in the description. It wasn't on the, uh, I wasn't looking on the SRD. I, but, yeah. yeah, 2D4, perfect. 2D4 rounds... 3D, that's not actually a lot of damage for a breath weapon, huh? No, it's uh, terrible and takes forever to recharge. He's yeah. John has it so different in, in the game. Like, he, he mine does 46. 
Huh. Hey. Nice. Um. Yeah. My dragon has two breath weapon meta breath feats. One that lets me use it as a swift action, and the other that lets him use it as a full round action to do max damage. So. They both make it take longer to recharge it, and I don't remember the exact distance. The, uh, Swift is plus four. Quickened is plus four? Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Is Maximize plus three or plus two? By the book, it's plus three. I don't know how it works with the Breath Weapon one. I'm not familiar with it. Well, I'm talking about my dragon. Yeah, so dragons is plus three. So yeah. I'm saying I haven't memorized all the Breath Weapon feats. I just happen to know that Swift is plus four. Yeah, yeah, okay. And maximizes plus three. I just checked. Okay. Yeah, the other thing to do is take recover breath because that gives you, I think, a minus one to your d4. Something like that. It gives you a bonus. So it makes it come back a little faster. Does that always work regardless of whether you're... Um, oh, yeah. It yeah, 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 I think it, it. you can use it on anything. It's just a, a bonus if you're going to use the uh, the feats to do it. Yeah, I might actually. A lot of the breath weapon feats actually suck. Maximize and quicken are pretty good. Those are the two I took. Recover is probably a good uh, offset to those as well, so I guess I'll add that in. I hadn't fully uh, finalized his feats. I actually even haven't even picked his spells yet, but he doesn't like get that many, so he's probably going to be relying on his breath weapon and melee attacks in combat, or at least in this combat, because I didn't pick his spells. <sighs> The annoying thing is that there's nowhere on these sheets to put... The NPC sheet is just so... Uh, I should have used the PC sheet, but I'm lazy. Who hasn't rolled initiative yet? Everybody has. I was actually just looking up my initiative and then asking, answering a billion questions. Feels bad. So which initiative are you using, yours or your dragons? Um, I used I I actually I what I did was is I rolled for both of the, I I highlighted both of the tokens and it and it rolled for the dragons initiative and then I rolled myself. So I guess I'll just do it this way. Um because I'm not currently riding the dragon. Uh we uh, I'm obviously not because I'm not in his, in his square. Yeah, that's fine. I just wanted to know what your plan was. You can roll both, or you can roll them up um, individually. I think my I think my plan is if we're not in the same like if I'm not riding him, we'll use separate initiatives. If I'm riding him, I'll use different the same initiative. That's probably a good rule of thumb to go with. If it gets annoying, I'll change it. Okay. So Damon, what are you doing? <laughs> How do you get plus eight? Damon, you're muted if you're talking. Sorry, I didn't hear you say it was my turn. Okay. So Damon will, I guess, charge at the next one here. So he's going to. You have an acrobatic like charge? Um I have twisted charge, so that'll let me move through make up to a ninety degree turn as part of a charge. But I don't have anything to ignore difficult terrain right now. Yeah, there's Is a little bit trying? of debris in the way and they're still inside the tent at this point. Yeah. Okay. So I think what he's gonna do instead is he's gonna sheath his sword. And we're just going to move up near the front of the tent, like basically adjacent to the front of the tent. And um, ready in action to attack the first one that leaves. Okay. Then we're on to Pandora. What's she doing? Get another big scary dragon's way. As Damon stands in front of him. That's it for her. Uh, she's got one more round for Breath Weapon. Well, the line of effect is that. So, Damon's not in the way. Uh, 
Um, interesting house rule. Line of effect is uh, not absolute, so anyone who's adjacent to the line of effect takes splash damage. Five foot adjust. <laughs> Actually, that still wouldn't... Let's see. I mean, if I did it like this, that would still hit my hit damage by slashing. Pretty sure his reflex is enough to dodge it. Do you have evasion? Not yet, actually. Oh, shit. Well, I guess I can't maximize that then. Ah, uh, you know what? I'll just shoot it this way. It'll be fine. I think it's Matt's turn, though. First. Okay, uh, then we're on to Darius. What is Darius doing? All right. Um, I am going to. Wait, let's see. What's my current speed? I want to move over here just to get a better sense potentially of if there's anything in this pit. So let's see. 15. Um, yeah, just moved here. Um, now that I can kind of see to the edge of the pit, um, uh, and also I have touch sight 80 feet. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to see uh, oh, more enemies. That's what I was uh, potentially worried about. Um, you can see the edge of the boat in the pit. Uh, looks like there's at least one dwarf on it, and it is pushing off to go downstream. Okay. I uh, am just going to yell that up to the group. Uh, I don't want to use any power, so I'll so I just maintain my concentration and say, uh, "Hey guys, the the uh, the boat's uh, the boat's trying to get away." Uh, I am um, go ahead and go ahead and sacrifice my standard action for initiative uh, next round. Uh, I'll have Arthur go. Uh, let's see, he'll just uh, they want a clean shot at somebody. Uh, I guess one of those. Um, the closer, lower Arthur, or sorry, the the hunter that's kind of closer to the south, uh, like this one. I have a clean Arthur has a clean shot, right? Or would have to move a little. How deep is yeah. this? Like, are they like how how far down are they? Um, it's about ten feet down to the landing, and then probably another twenty feet down from there. They're on the landing. Yeah, there's a little porch there. That's what they're on. Okay. Yeah. Um. Actually, okay. he might move a little. Uh, more this. Well. Oh, what's the uh? Uh, why is there blackness in this uh, in this general area here where Arthur moved to? Because he's now in the bushes and the trees are in his way. Oh, I didn't even realize those were bushes. Uh, All those black okay. squares and stuff are yeah, okay. obstructions to his sight. Then I'll just go there in that case and we'll go for uh, uh, this hunter with the crossbow. Okay, so. Just so you know, the hunters haven't acted yet, so they're still inside the tent, so they would have uh, cover. Tent okay. doesn't provide a lot of cover, but it does give them at least, I guess it would be concealment rather than cover. Uh, so let me... In that case, I am just going to uh, load up a mass spell on my Baron Durance. One, he'll, uh, but he'll he'll get closer as well. Um, don't want to get too close. Uh, will be here as a double move, uh, and. Uh, yeah, he'd be done. Curse done. What is he doing with his wand? Hmm. 
Matt, what was he doing with the wand? Oh, sorry, I was I was muted. Uh, I uh, he is putting uh uh meta magic med, uh, meta magic infusion to um put uh mass spell on bear's endurance so that when he uh, uses a charge it will have a uh, mass spell on it from the uh his bear's endurance wand and how do anything yet but just makes his wand so that when he uses it and how does that work because bear's endurance is a, a mass bear's endurance is a six level spell uh well it's uh he infuses a he infuses a feat uh into it is the way so so the inf- i i I, I cast the infusion and now that meta magic property goes to the wand with no with, it just does there's no there's no pluses it just it's just what the power does it takes the existing wand and gives that meta magic to it yeah I'm, uh, uh, artif- artifacts are cool things cool things <laughs> no I just was just asking because uh, one of my house rules is you can't cast a spell higher than your level if it's your action to do that then it's like casting a spell and then next round it kicks in that's totally fine yeah that's how it works it just sounded like you were doing something and then you changed your mind and I just wanted to clarify. Okay, nope, then... It took, we... it took the round to, to buff the wand so that it gets that property. Yeah. Nope, that's fine. Uh, then we're on to the dragon. Which I'm not even going right. to try and say his name. Um, <clears throat> Feshi Irion. Oh, no, sorry. Feshi Irion. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, it's, he's going to um, go here. I used an X for the sound because it's like that's the sound the uh, the letter the uh, IPA uses. Um, he's gonna go right there and he's gonna fire. Um, I can't use I can't draw my cursor along a line on the grid. Yeah, you but can. But these two squares. Well, I can't. Uh, I you set can, the uh, after, ruler after to. Corner, uh, yeah. This is the of... this is the trajectory of the breath weapon. Okay, the guys in the hole haven't come up yet, so they're not going to be affected. I know they're not going to—they're not going to really take any damage. I guess. Okay. Uh, I, What's well, I, your I'm save? The four that are out. This is the four that I can know are here anyway. So let me just—the uh, save is a DC twenty reflex, I believe. No, it's more than that. Uh. Oh, sorry. Just a quick, uh, quick interjection. Um, do you have? Oh, uh, do you okay. have those two guys on sep- on uh, on initiative? The ones I'm dominated. No, they can just go on your turn. Okay, then they can they can uh, they can go now then. Uh, I meant to ask you about that yeah. when you were on your turn, and then we got distracted. Sorry. Um. All right. Well, I'll just roll the damage. Uh, it's a quick in breath, and then I'm gonna. Uh, actually, you know what? I can't attack these guys right because they're in the in the tent. I'm just gonna use maximize breath. So I mean, I actually I don't have to roll then. It's just sixty four. Um. Eight d eights, so sixty four. Um, and the DC 20 reflex for half. Okay, you want me to roll one yes. save or all of them together? Or all of them individually? However you want to do it. I mean, okay, that... I just I just roll one save for simplicity, but sometimes okay. people don't like that. Uh, no, that, that, that's, uh, that's the DM's call. I don't know. Okay. They all save. All right, so that's what, 32? Uh, do they have any lightning resistance or anything like that? Nope, they're just people. You never know, they could be wearing magic items. No, that's that's true. I don't think they have anything that gives them lightning resistance. Alright. And as the DM, I'm highly reluctant to give out lightning resistance. This is all... <laughs> the one thing I can use. This is all fine, because... Because even if they did save... I mean, uh, depending on how well I roll from my my own spell i could just take them all out too we'll try that's uh the dragon uh duh. let me roll 1d4 plus 2 to see how long it takes him to recharge i thought it was Five plus rounds. 3 it's plus 3 but i have a redu- uh, recover brush so it's plus 2 oh okay i didn't realize you swapped that i i did because it hadn't mattered yet did the other feat that i had swapped out wasn't something i'd used yet okay um, that's fair um just trying to find uh the character sheets for the minions totally forgot to open them okay so hectar is uh plus eight with his bow um so he will shoot at one of the dwarves in the uh thingy so they have a 20 percent miss chance which he beats and then he can attack Uh, 
and a 17, I think it's a miss. Oh yeah. And then, uh, what's her face? Gwen, I hate that the name tags go under the other tokens. That is kind of dumb. Uh, Gwen is also plus eight. So she'll roll her mischance. She misses. And then you've gone with your dragon. So we're on mm -hmm. to the hunters. The hunters will emerge from the tent. That one's going to provoke, right? Um, this one? I guess. I have 10 feet reach with my bite. Well, they're just stepping out of the tent, so at this point they... Uh, he was going five feet, though, didn't he? Nope, they only go five okay. feet. They were both in the uh, the tent there. Oh, was he here? Uh, yeah, right. Uh, no. One went up and one went down when they came out of the tent. Er, okay. Okay, so the two to the south will attack Pandora. I really hate running multiple monster combats. So many stupid character sheets. Oh, they are wicked with their bows. Okay, well, Damon, uh, you get your attack of opportunity when they emerge. Or not your attack of opportunity, your um, action. Right. So for his ready to action, um, he's going to be using his Sapphire Nine Barrel Blade. So we're going to start this off with a concentration check with the creature's AC as the DC for the maneuver. So let's do that. I did not open the sheet. Welcome to my world. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, okay, well, I, I have a pretty good idea of what his concentration is regardless. So his concentration is going to be, or his spellcraft, something like that. Oh, two. Huh. And the AC is 22. Okay. Well, then I think this is just going to fail. Um, to uh, do its extra damage. I was trying to get it. I should see focus on this. Um, but it looks like we will not. So then it would just be a normal attack for Damon, which I will need the sheet to finish loading for. I think that's the first time you've missed on that. Yeah, I think it is. Okay. Um, so let's try. All right. So that'll hit. And I think it's just at 17 damage, and that's it, actually. OK, just noted on the token. All right. And that's um, DR3 bypassed by plus one or better. Uh, no, this DR is just his armor DR. Oh, okay. It's uh, DR3 as a base, and then it gets plus one if he has a shield out. I see. Okay. Which at this point, since he just got breathed on by a dragon and knows there's a dragon there, he would have a shield out. Yeah, I figured. Okay, well then that's it for Damon's ready. Okay, uh, then uh, these guys will emerge from the tent in a bow-like fashion. And then they will attack uh, Pandora. Ooh, nice. Pair of hits on Pandora.
and then I'll roll to confirm. I actually considered attacking the dragon originally and then for some reason went back to Pandora. Uh, 15 is not a confirm. So they just take... So uh, the first one won't be 8 points. It'll be max damage, which is 13. Rolled so well, I just assumed I was going to confirm and then I rolled shit. Well... Okay, then the other one will uh, move up on Damon. And the two of them will attack him. With some more impressive rolls. <laughs> Lots of ones. The fumbles. Sorry, is that three attacks or two attacks? The 15 was the confirm for the critical on Pandora. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Just the two well, parries. Then. I don't think it mattered. Uh, the first They rolled a 14 and then that one. Yeah, I don't even think they hit you if you were falling asleep tied up in a corner. <laughs> okay, and well, then the I mean, bottom two will... I mean, his AC is low enough. I think they would have hit his AC, but that's fine. His AC is 14. One of them is an 8. Oh, that's right. It's higher now because of the braces of armor. But yeah. Okay, so the bottom two will attack the dragon. Oh, these ones. I was like, okay. Wow, you're rolling 20s all over the place here. That's one hit. I assume a 20 isn't to confirm. Not quite, no. So okay, next, so he just takes 13 damage. Yeah, he just takes 13 points, and I think everyone's gone. Two on Pandora, two on the dragon, two on Damon. All right. Then we are on to All right. Anor. All right, I'm going to cast Unholy Blight. So, let's see. It's a spread, so it goes around corners. Uh, it doesn't affect evil things, so you guys are safe. It's just the enemies that are going to get hit. Um, that should be good. Okay, none of them are outsiders, are they? I'm just kidding. Uh, ooh, wow, that's a good roll. DC 20 for half. And if they fail, they're sickened as well. We'll save. Nice. Are you 10th level? Yeah, you are because uh, you're higher hit dice. Okay. And it's a will save? It is a will save. I think it's Will. It's normally Will. Uh, I, just... I think they all save, unless you have a really high save. Nope, it's 20, so yeah, they made it. Um... Yeah, it is Will. Okay, so they take half, which is still, what, 15? One of them might have died anyway. Let me just check. Oh, nope, he's at 1 HP. Lol. <laughs> okay, you doing anything else? Uh, one second. I have to put all that in. Uh, I'm also going to move. Wait, uh, can you can move and draw a weapon in the same move, right? You can draw a weapon as part of a move action if your base attack is I mean. above one. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Uh, I'm drawing my uh, sword and moving up here. as my, uh, And I'm going to put in the damage after that, but that's my turn. So 15, 15. Uh, Damon flanking doesn't mean anything to you, does it? To Damon or to me? To Damon. That's why I said Damon. Yeah, he hasn't gained any special advantages now. I was I was I pretty mean, sure it was the flat foot thing. Yeah, no, I he has a bunch of special abilities that are based on denying Dax and catching people by surprise. But it's not a flanking bonus, it's a surprise bonus. Oh okay. Well, I just did it for the plus two to hit, honestly. Alright. I'm totally fine with that. Okay, uh Apollo, you're up. I move up. Can I cast Dam dar da Damning Darkness on someone? I don't know. What's it say in the description? Does it give you it a target? Just says, it just says, uh, da -da -da -da, temp object touched. So you definitely can't cast it on a person if it's a touched object. Okay. 
Well, in that case, I will uh, cast it on my weapon and move up to there. This isn't the Damning Darkness Circle. Give me a sec. Note that, um... Evan, does Evan Eyes let you see through Magic Darkness? If you normally have uh, Dark Vision, yep. yes. Okay. I it believe... basically just moves you up one tier. I believe... Oh, actually, yeah, that's... I forgot about that. Um, You can see in Magical Darkness, right? I can. Damon Cat. Okay, then I'm gonna not move there. Move one one south, you'll be all right. I'll move yeah. there. I can't. I won't be able to see myself, but none of these guys will be able to see either. So what is it? It is twenty radius around me. So this radius, right? Just yes. stand there and sap their HP for us. That's how it works too. Um. So there's no save. So it's just does it do damage take effect first round? I believe it does. 2d6 per round in the darkness. And if you're neutral, you take 1d6, but I don't think anyone here is neutral. No. So if they're good, they take, they take 10 damage. So I'm assuming they all take 10 damage. Okay, just note it on their characters. And then it's initiative. This one's dead, then. <laughs> um, but I do think Damon has a mischance hitting into the darkness. If he can't Probably. See. It's regular concealment for hitting one out, right? Ah, uh, all right. Let's roll initiative. Uh... Oh yeah, I guess I guess freaking uh, Pandora won't be able to see in the darkness too. What? She doesn't have see in darkness. She has Isn't dark she vision. Devil? She has dark vision. Well, she has dark vision, but I don't. Sort of devil or you can't see in magical darkness. I'm just kidding. There's only a handful <laughs> of de devils that can see in magical darkness. Really? Yeah, but most could. No, magical so darkness. Like so. They I'm actually like, they, I, they actually changed the way that. magical darkness works in three point five because yeah. darkness was so ridiculously powerful because nobody can see in it. That's why the uh, three point five version just creates a shadowy area so you can hide. Is basically all it does. Yeah, gives you, you have like have twenty percent mischance. Like actually, get rid of all the being able to see. Um, the uh, yeah, deeper darkness creates total darkness, but I think regular darkness just creates yeah. Um, let me roll my dragons initiative too. In fact, I can just put his size modifier in here, can't I? Because it's the same as. Um, and he's just attacking, so. Sorry, that's a 10. I don't know why I didn't put his modifier in. Okay, um, holy shit, I rolled really well. Uh, so the hunters are gonna go first. Um, the first thing they are going to do is flee the darkness. Unfortunately, we are on the edge of the map here, so I'm going to just uh, move them into the other map. Is this like this area past here? Um, is that just like more more of the same terrain, or? Yeah, this is all just the farm. I just wasn't expecting this battle to be pinched up against the edge uh, the way it turned out. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. I guess you'll just have to reveal it so that we can. Well, the other side of that is just the uh, the mine underneath. I can just turn the DL off. I guess. According to this, the dynamic lighting is off.
That's definitely not right, because I see plenty of black on my screen. Oh, I think this one's on legacy lighting, that's why. No, even the legacy lighting's off. What the hell's going on? Roll 20 is going on. Is that even a question? How's that? Did that change it? There. Yes. Now I see everything. It's the, the restrict movement uh, thingy. What? Okay. Yeah, I don't, the restrict movement's just so you can't move through the dynamic lighting. Yeah, I... Jeez. Roll 20. So they will back off um, through the darkness into the mine. And then uh, all four of them will attack the dragon. Oh, this isn't is actually this isn't actually the mine, is it? Like it? no, no, it's the rest of the terrain. It's just the two okay. map. I originally had the two maps on top of each other, so you could just sort of drop through to the other map. But then I realized that the dynamic lighting would be a nuisance on the two layers, so I just doubled the size of the map. That works. I mean, yeah. That's an, okay. Anyway. Miss. Miss. That's a hit. So two hits. Okay, so you take uh, 20 points in total. Yeah. Mm, all right. He laughs and like, ah, is that the best you can do? This thing has so much HP. Holy fuck. <laughs> yeah, dragons get uh, a high die and then uh, ridiculous I rolled con really on well top of too. that. Uh, I rolled like 20 points above the average, I think, also. Okay, and then this last hunter will five foot out from Damon. <sighs> And Anor apparently. And then he will even use his final action to get outside of the darkness. Did he so, just take three five foot steps? Yeah, well that's what he had to do to get past you, Damon, and uh the darkness. God, I Note love to dark. self, you can take three five foot steps. <laughs> I forgot you, you could actually use an action. You sacrifice yeah. all your actions, so I guess that's it. Okay. Yeah, you can take a five foot step as a swift action, so you can do it with all three of your primary actions. Okay. Okay. okay, so I'm done, so it's your turn, Anor. Okay, well, too bad I don't get flanking. Oh, well, I'll attack from here, then. Actually, no, I'll attack from here, because he can't see me, so I get a bonus, right? Um, er... Yeah, I, I don't know how it works with you being invisible to him. Usually it's just a plus... Oh, no, Um, if I'm invisible to him, either he's flat-footed or I get a plus two. I can't remember which it is. I know there's an invisible condition that does that. Um, I think he's technic. The term for him would be blinded because he can't see you. Uh, which would just deny him his dex. I think. Yeah, I think that's all it does. Which is probably fine, considering he's an archer. He's probably got dex that I'm getting a past. I'm going to attack with my. He takes a minus two penalty to AC and loses all dex bonus, and then he's got a okay. bunch of other minor penalties. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to. Just do it this way then. Uh, I can't power attack, so. Why can't you power attack? I don't have power attack. Oh, what kind of a person takes a great sword and doesn't take power attack? I was an archer before, and I picked up a great sword, and I'm like, you know what? This is probably fine, considering I'm like ridiculously high defenses. I should probably do some melee stuff. That's what happened, kind of. Uh, so I will full attack here. And the first one kills him, so no fumble on the second one. Oh, there's no crit fumble. So... Uh, well, that's 13 damage, which should be enough to knock him down to negative 9. Okay. Um, so you're done? I did, de I did declare a full attack, but um, technically I didn't use all the attacks. Does that mean I just took a standard attack? or? Yeah, if you take him down with your first attack, you can just do it as a standard. Do... I can take a move action. Okay. Uh, I'll take a move action. Then. I'm going to head up over here and say, hey, guys, how's it going today? 
How has your day been so far, buddy? All right, that's my turn. Okay, Darius, you're up. Uh, all right, I'm just going to have... Um, we'll have... Are you, are you, you're in magical you're in darkness, magical. by the way. Yeah. I am? Yeah. Uh, where's, where's the magical darkness at? It's the circle. It's based on me. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm dropping it next round. So, it was basically just to help kill a couple guys. I think. It was okay. helped. It was to used to used to help put some chaos and dis disarray in the dwarves. It worked. They ran away. Uh can uh, can I put up uh, can I put up the uh, mass uh, mass bears endurance on folks with the darkness up? Or is the darkness? Well, actually, I guess the darkness is just dim lighting, right? So I should be able to. Uh, it's um, mad. It's completely no, dark. It's, it's complete look. darkness. Um, what does it say in the spell? Um, Oh yeah, it just yeah. affects it just affects a number of creatures, so I should uh if you just uh, I mean if you're worried if you just wait till my turn, that's uh, going away. Um yeah, I th I think I, I think I can just do it. So he'll, he'll just uh uh Arthur is just gonna activate the uh the uh mass bears endurance. I'm not gonna put it on Hector and Gwen, but I'll uh I'll put that up on all other friendly so everyone will get a plus four uh plus four bonus to uh constitution enhancement. Uh, that is a stack if you already have an enhancement bonus. I know for a fact that we've been over this already, but do I have to apply my spell resistance to that? I can choose not to, right? Yep. Okay, doesn't, cool. It doesn't reach you anyway. Oh, it doesn't? Ah, it's too bad. Uh, does it get to the dragon? No, the dragon's even further than you. Oh, do I need to... What's the range? The range is basically a 15-foot radius. Oh, shit. Okay, yep. Which is where the darkness comes into play. In fact, <laughs> yeah, so he can get... Oh, sorry, I was thinking it was 30 feet. I didn't know that was, it was 15. Uh, well, it's 30 feet foot. Feet. No two creatures can be more than 30 feet apart. That creates oh. a 15 foot radius circle. Outside of a 15 foot radius circle is 30 feet. Uh, sort of, yeah. Well, let so me just... You could, you could um, that are, yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, I, um, I, I, will, I will not put it on... Darius, so I can get the most others than than Darius. You'll get a okay. If you leave out Darius, Darius, you should be able to get everyone because you can put it in the middle here. Yep, that's how I'm doing it. Okay. Uh, that? uh so that's uh, that that that'll be fine for Arthur's turn. Or uh, Darius, yeah, plus four enhancement to con. If you already have an enhancement, it won't stack, but it'll overlap. I don't. Uh, so that's. Oh, geez, now I have to uh, calculate my hit points again. <laughs> uh, well, that's just plus 20 hit points. I mean, plus, yeah, it's not bad. Darius, you just fell down 30 feet. Oh, uh, I right. went over there because I thought that's where the way down was. Where's the way down? Okay, well, you'd have to go around the edge to get to the way down. Cause the ladder is the thing that is. The oh, this down. thing? Okay, well, 5, 10, 15, 20. So, this is the ladder, right? Yep. Yes? Yes. Okay. So, 25 to here, uh, 30 to here. Uh, what do the, I see? The ladder is uh, 10 feet down, and it's double movement, so it'll cost you 20 to go down the ladder. Uh, no, okay, I'll just double move. That's fine. Uh, what do I see when I get down the ladder? Um, Down below, there's basically like a little beach on the side of the river you can see a bunch of uh like crates and chairs and stuff piled up um the boat's gone by this point um it's basically what you can see there okay so i can't um it's 80 with 80 feet of touch side who do not see the boat um i would say since you could see the boat last round, 80 feet, you could probably still see it because it 
even double moving it, it wouldn't be that far down. Uh, and is there uh, how many uh, how many dwarves are on the boat? Just one. There are two dwarves on the boat. Two dwarves on the boat. Okay. Um, I will go ahead and. Well, no, I guess I already double moved. Um, I'll just move to there and uh, say, "Hey guys, the uh, the boat's almost gone." I'll shout out. Uh, yeah, so that'll be Darius's turn, and then um, I'd have uh, uh, Hector and Gwen go. Okay. Uh, Hector is um, plus eight, so he'll shoot his bow at one of the hunters. And that is a miss, I believe. Yep, just barely, but it's a miss. And Gwen will do the same. <coughs> and she also misses horribly. Doors are damn good at being armored. And then we're on to Damon. All right, Damon's going to move up to the doors that are fleeing. And then he's going to use his do wind maneuver to make one attack against each. Okay, so then there's a thing he can do here to boost that attack a little bit. So he can make a bluff check posed by their sense motive check to give himself a plus two. For the hunter, he would have missed. Okay. Okay. So he succeeds, so with the plus two, he will kill them both. What is the action to do the bluff thing? It says, um, so here he's, I, I should describe this. So he, um, so he's always been wearing a kimono with a black crane feathered pattern on it. And he had tattoos of crane wings on his back. Here, I think the... Wings seem to come to life, and as they burst out of him, they uh, surprise these guys enough to give him a slight edge in combat. This is as the feathered wings craft. It says, each round, in addition to its normal attacks, it can make a bluff check, opposed by its opponent's sense motive check. If this check is successful, the grafted creature's attacks in that round gain a plus two circumstance bonus. So there's no action described. Okay, so it's just a free thing you get to do. Yeah. Okay, uh, are you done then? Yes. And he'll sheath his weapon after that. Okay. Uh, then it's Apollo's go. Uh, I'm going my unmuted, yeah. Going to hide the damning darkness, run up to uh, Hunter there. Did you say you're going to turn off your damning darkness? Yeah, I can't see. Uh, oh, so okay. I just used it you to... cover I, it up. Yeah, I can cover it up, so... I just used it to cause some disarray. So I'm hiding it so I can move up. And then I'm going to uh, use a scare on this, these two dwarves. Uh, will partial? The function of the cause here, except to cause all targets of, uh, less than a 6 HD to become frightened. So, da -da -da -da. please from the source of the. So, yeah. It's pretty much. They are. They failed. But they will. They both fail. Um, I'm just going to note for the record that they are seven hit dice. But I removed the hit die limits on things that have saves. If it has a save, then you make the save. If you're high enough level that you make the okay. save, then you resist it. Otherwise, it sucks to be you. Okay. Um, frightened, clear, frightened creature flees from the source of the fear as best it can. Unable to flee, may fight at minus two on everything. 
Okay. Well, they are able to flee and very interested in fleeing. Um, I'm assuming since you have your mace as your target of your damning darkness and you've got it covered up, you don't have a weapon available to attack them as they flee? Nope. Which is fine. How long does it last? Um, It lasts long enough we can just go past them and go into the... Because as the next round, I've got big old doggy to come this way. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to check something on their breath. How long? 15 feet. Yeah, she'll go there and breathe. And it is uh, Reflex. D- what did we say the DC was? I don't know. It's on your sheet. It's not. I forgot to put the from the SRD on there. Was uh, no, it should, it should be on 16. the description. Yeah, I got it. Save 16. Quite literally says, breath weapon, 15 foot cone, DC 16, 46. All in one line. Under oh, I attack. keep looking under the description down below. Okay, yeah. 15, DC 15, okay, 46. Okay, um, you're going to take splash damage from where you are. That's... Uh... How much is splash damage? Just half? Splash damage is just one point per uh, die. Well, if, that, if it's just that, then I'll, I'll take the four, hit, four points of damage. Okay, you can roll your reflex save. It was just meant to stop people from exploiting... Cool square lines on the map strangely enough it ended up turning around the other way and people started exploiting splash damage so they started targeting their effects so that they'd splash the guys beside it too uh, they can roll their reflex save yeah I'm just looking it up looking to where it was usually pretty good a reflex they're not usually that good at but uh, 18 seems like a good save especially versus a DC 16 and now they have to run directly towards the dog. Yeah, on their action they go. Is it... Does Frighten make him run away, like, directly away from me? Like, the what one spell he cast in the, um... Where we couldn't move directly towards that person? No, that's repulsion. Uh, they run away from the source, so they obviously wouldn't move towards you unless, for some reason, like, if they were... If this was... If your damning darkness was the shape of the room and the door was behind you, they would run around you okay. and technically move towards you to get to the door. But uh, yeah, there isn't be- there isn't a mechanic that says they can't move towards you, just that they have to use their action to leave. Okay, And they are fully functional, so they know where leaving is. So if they had the ability to teleport, they would teleport away. If they can fly, they'll fly away. Okay, um, Dan, that's going to be it for us. Oh, God, that's rough. Yeah, that's terrible. I rolled two for the cooldown before. Sky, shut up. All right, that's it for us. Okay, um, did you note the damage on them? I did. Okay, I just, they don't look that injured, so I was wondering if... No, uh... I took five points. <laughs> no, that's fair. Okay, uh, then we are on to the dragon. All right, Kashi Iran will just kind of fly up here, and I think he can only bite from where he's at. But No, because he has to make a move, so he can not make a full attack. He Instead, can make a, he, will... he can make a full attack with his claw claw bite. Meaning no tails and no wings. Up. Well, yeah. If I... How does that work? Okay, so... The way that I do weapon, standard is... actions is... You get your one attack with each of your limbs, unless there's a reason for you not to get it. Like, if he's 20 feet away, he'd obviously only get his bite. Or if, in the case of, like, an eagle, you only get your talents or your bite. You don't get all three. Okay, so in this case, you're letting me have claw claw bite. Yeah, Uh, as as a standard action. Then just ignore this tails and wing, because I have it all put in one macro here. Um... Is it rolling? There we go. Uh, 
So that's all at this guy, I guess, because he's farther away. Or closer to getting away. So 17 minus 3. Oh, he has a shield up, so 4. Um... Are those taking dead, into yeah. consideration the penalties for um, multi-attack? So, um, they're all primary weapons, the ones I attacked with. I understand that, but all of your attacks, when you make more than one attack, are at a minus four. When did that become a thing? Oh, is that your rules? Only? Well, that's or... how I run it, but if you read the description, they I'm pretty sure it says that... Uh, primary attack does one and the secondary attacks are like at minus five normally yeah i have the multi-attack feat though okay multi-attack reduces that to just minus two on each and then if your dexterity is high enough to reduce the last two then it, you don't have a penalty right okay so uh, does that apply to all the attacks? the secondaries are at minus five instead of minus four or because i actually have to edit the macro then yeah all of the attacks that you make as a multi-attack okay. will be at minus four and then that's reduced by multi-attack and by your dexterity and modifier and then by, okay so i actually don't have any penalty at all because my dex is plus two so okay i'm just uh, checking yeah uh let me edit the uh, whatever the secondary weapons are currently penalized at minus two here on this macro because i just assumed it was regular but uh the only three that i attacked with are primary so those are the correct numbers uh yeah uh, I moved, I attacked. I'm going to have him mark off how many rounds left on his breath weapon cooldown, and that's it. That's what okay. this lightning bolt symbol is. Yep, no, no, that's fine. 